Have you ever wished that all of the best soundtracks were just there inside of your video editor? Well, the wait is over because Epidemic Sound finally released their Premiere Pro plugin. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how it's gonna change your life, or at the very least, drastically improve your video editing workflow. So let's talk about it. Here's how it works. Now, of course, you'll have to have access to Premiere Pro. So log into your Adobe account, go to the Adobe Marketplace, search for the Epidemic Sound plugin and hit install. Now open up Premiere Pro and go up to the very top menu where it says window. Open up that window menu, you'll see an extensions option. Choose that and then you'll find the Epidemic Sound plugin right there for you. So you're gonna see the plugin window for Epidemic Sound pop up in its own little window here. I like to put all my plugins over on the right hand side with my effects and my media bin and all those things. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Meredith Mark. I'm here to help you look good, sound good, and feel good on camera so that you can build your thriving online business with YouTube. And this video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. And when you use the plugin for the first time, you're going to have to log into your Epidemic Sound account. So if you just hit that login button, it'll take you to log in. That way you have all of the music that you've already saved or favorited or anything you have in your playlist. Plus, it'll give you all of your recommendations and new soundtracks. If you have your own custom layout for your Premiere Pro workflow or your your workspace like I do, just make sure you go ahead and save this workspace. That way, every time you open up Premiere Pro, your Epidemic Sound plugin will be right there for you. I have been known to just reuse the same tracks and not go down the music rabbit hole, but now I can come over to the Epidemic Sound plugin. I can either let Epidemic suggest some options to me, so I see that there are some that are trending here, and I could just hit play and it's going to play my video and play the music at the same time. Now I have my tracks muted where I'm speaking because that's really gonna muddy up this recording, but you get the idea. So I can search for tracks. I can use these tags down here to just let Epidemic just give me what it finds. Or my favorite part is I can come over to saved and I have everything that I've already found that I really like. Like I have this playlist here for fun stuff to try. Um, Married to the Light. I kind of like that, right? So all I have to do is find in my timeline here. Now I'm looking for something for my intro, but if I had other parts of the video where I wanted to just add in some music, I can just put my cursor here wherever I want. I'm going to hit play up here on the music and it's gonna just play the music along with the video so I can see visually what it's gonna look like and hear what it would sound like. Now I turned my uh, desktop volume way down because I didn't want it to mess with my recording here. But you do have a volume setting here inside of the plugin and you can do all this without having to download the track, drag it into your folder, drag it onto the timeline and then start playing with it. Where has this been all my life? So I could just go through all of these options and let my video play while I preview it. And you can also utilize Epidemic's sound match function which will analyze the part of your video that you have your cursor on and choose some of what it thinks is the best tracks for you. And if you do have just one particular section of your video, I do have a really handy trick that's going to make your life easier so you don't have to keep hitting play, moving your cursor, finding another song, and then repeating that process. First, you need to know that Epidemic Sound is having a massive Cyber Week deal, and I've teamed up with them to bring you an exclusive discount on their music service. Using the link down in the description, you'll get access to two months free of their entire music and sound effects library. The discount is available on the personal plan and it's only available for five days. So if you've been thinking about giving Epidemic Sound a try, now that they have this Premiere Pro plugin available, now's a really good time to do it. Now let's say I'm just trying to find some music for my intro here and I don't want to watch it play through the whole rest of my uh, edit here. I'm just going to kind of find a good place where I want my intro music to stop. I'm going to put the O on my keyboard so I have in points, out points, and I just have this little section. And then up here, I can hit this loop back. So now when I come up to one of these tracks and hit play, it's going to just loop back for me. Watch this. 
See how it went all the way back to the beginning for me? So if I just want to explore all of the songs just for the intro, then I can go down through the songs and see what's going to work and let it sort of play on a loop. So I'm just going to right click, go to clear in and out so I get rid of my in and out points. And I think I do want to add this married to the light down here. So I'm just going to hit download over here on the right hand side. It downloaded and now it's here inside of my project. So I'm just going to drag it down to my timeline and from here I can edit it just like I normally would. So I would always bring the volume way, way, way down. And then I usually do some sort of like a fade out. So I'm hitting command and then the plus button on my background track here. And I'm just going to create a couple of points keyframes and then I just drag this one down and just do a little bit of a fade out and then I can cut this track right about here get rid of this last part and now I have a little bit of background music in my intro so if you're already an epidemic customer go throw this plugin into Premiere Pro. I think it's really going to revolutionize your editing process, especially when it comes to adding music to your videos. Let me know down in the comments what you think about it. But if you're not an Epidemic user, make sure to use the link down in the description. Remember the Cyber Deal is only available for five days. That's how you can get your two months free access to all 40,000 tracks and all of the sound effects. But if you're creating videos specifically to grow your audience on YouTube and generate revenue with your YouTube channel, did you know that creating a library of binge-worthy videos is the most powerful way to do that? And I have a video explaining exactly how to become bingeable on YouTube so that you attract new subscribers and more revenue to your business with every single video that you publish.